Hello YouTube, this is Kurosama, and here we have the Master Grade Proto Wing Zero, and I'm been so excited for this kit. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely been something. Although it's not the TV version, it is a Master Grade of one of the mobile suits from probably my top fa uh, favorite series of all time, which is Wing, uh, you know, the Wing Gundam series. Um, I, I love it, you know, with with a passion. I I'm hoping that we can get a, a TV version one day, but. If we don't, then we don't. I'll settle for this for right now. I'll still semi-complete my little wing collection I have. Just wait for that Tall Geese 3 and some of the other OVA Endless Vault suits. But, um, uh, nah, I mean, let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the articulation of this kit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the articulation of the head. Um, looking at the design, I mean, it looks really good. You get some nice places for panel lining, especially on the, I guess, the ears, as you would, as you would call it. You can panel line inside there on the the face plate, and it comes with green stickers for the eyes, you know, top sensors, and as well as the back sensor. And as you can see, you can do a full 360. You can look down, look up that much, and not really any side to side movement. You're pretty much out of luck with that if you wanted to do a side to side movement. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty good head movement all together. Um, I, I don't have anything to complain about that. Uh, going down to the chest, you can see he has his Gatling guns, which I think are pretty awesome. All right, there you go. Pull them up. Bam. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I've never been a fan of like the uh, like the head to, uh, turrets, like on the top, you know, anything like that. Uh, any kind of Gatling guns, because I don't know. When, when when I think of Gundam, I'm like, okay, it's beam sabers, beam rifles you know, cannons, stuff like that, but when you see Gatling guns, I'm like, uh, oh, I guess it's just like a distraction. I don't really see the, the damage that it can really do. And you do see his, uh, do a little damage in the series itself, so, uh, it's like, whatever. And right here, of course, the, uh, cockpit opens up, bam. And then you can see a young Hiro Yui, or old Hiro Yui, however old he is in the, the manga. I never really read the manga that had this guy, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, in the anime, though, you know, he's like 14 or so. Um, you get green stickers right here. Um, I didn't have any paint with me so I couldn't just paint it green and that's how I really want to do it but you know it's whatever. Um, you're gonna get some really good movement down that much, uh, up that much and side to side. Not really too much though as you can see. It's whatever though. I, I do like the, the downward pose because whenever he's doing his little famous twin buster you know, firing pose is pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the arms. Over here, another little gimmick is beam saber right there, which is pretty cool. Um, also, this part comes up, which I don't really see a purpose of, but it does. Um, you gotta have a thruster right inside there. Uh, this moves, the thruster also can move multiple different directions. You can put it all the way in if you want. Uh, the, let's see, this thing can go up and down. It can actually pull out a little bit. Bam, but it's uh, for the transformation, so I usually just lock that in. Um, this is really tough. Uh, at one, yeah, it's like I, I know I can definitely <laughs> twist that all the way around. Um, and it can move back and forth like that. Uh, you can go up that much, so 90 degree angle. Ain't really too bad though. Uh, come all the way around. You know, the basic stuff that Gundam models actually do. So, uh, right here, you get some uh, decent posability with the arm. Right there, bam, 90 degrees. You can actually come up a little bit more, right there. And a little bit more right there. Or you can kind of maneuver it to where you can get this up a little more. So, you just gotta bend, you know, mess around with it. Uh, the hands are a little stiff, uh, but 360 can move around a little bit. And he actually does come with other hands. As you can see right here, he has the open hands. Uh, you know, like the hands reaching out, and you get the ones for like the beam sabers and such, and complete closed fists, and then these right here are the gun trigger hands. But uh, I usually have both of them like that because that's how I display mine. Is both uh, both uh, twin beam rifles kind of posing, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move down to the waist. Skirt armor can move around a little bit. You get some nice places for panel lining. You can even go as far as going down here along this ridge. And uh, I, I did this right up here. It was pretty nice. Um, I just kind of get lazy sometimes. So if I look at it, I'm like, eh, I don't want to do it. I'm just going to do this little part. I'll do it. 
This part opens up right here. That's a gimmick for uh, transformation, or you can do it right now if you want. And the back can uh, go up that much. So that's pretty cool and all. You know, it's whatever. Uh, moving down to the legs, however. Legs are really cool. I like all this panel line that you can do. Get a little closer look. A lot of uh, nice ridges inside there. A little panel lining that you can do. So I always like panel lining, um, some, like, especially like for the turn A. I just think it brings out uh, a little more color, to my color per se, but just a little more animation for the kit itself. You know, if you're like me and don't like to pose, I'm not pose, uh, paint, sorry. Um, but yeah, here we go. Some little articulation of the legs, as you can see. Pretty good, really nice. You get some knee, uh, knee movements right there. Lock that right back into place. Uh, front, skirt armor, eh, it's whatever. Uh, the foot, however, is pretty cool. Um, you know, you got a little thrust underneath, and it goes back and ooh, breaking stuff off already. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the wings. Uh, the wings themselves, I'm not a big fan of. I mean, they, I mean, they look nice. The, the looks of it, the cosmetic side, the uh, decals that you can put on there, very nice indeed. Colors are really great. But I don't like the movement. You're not going to be able to like push them up like you would the uh, robot uh, Damashi one. That one, that was amazing. I, you know, although that was a TV version, this is just the uh, the proto. Uh, still, I was like, why can't I like, move it up? Because if this was able to like bend up like that, oh my god, I would have this this kit would have moved up on my favorite list. But because these wings, you know, cl like closed in like that, can't really do too much. Um, they just kind of like look like meh, and you're gonna you know get some. I mean, it's not bad. It looks decent, but uh, once again, I, I'm I'm more of a fan of of like the, the wings close, and because you can't really do too much, that's all you can really do back and forth, up and down. Because you can't do too much, they're not gonna be as attractive to me. You can kind of manipulate them to where they look a little bit more uh, going out, but all in all, they're not really doing much for me. So um, sadly, I'm gonna have to you know open them up. Usually for my posing, um, I, do, I usually do them like that. Bam! So I really, I really like the the wings opened up, but you know, like I said, I, I prefer them closed, open up. But you know, it's whatever. You gonna see the thrusters right inside here, which is pretty cool. Uh, also on the regular backpack, you get two thrusters down there. Uh, you can always just go get some silver, like metal uh, thrusters. Replace these, or you know, do your own thing. Uh, and this is also kind of this little. I guess I don't know what this is supposed to be, but the, you have this little part that comes up. You can bring it down. I don't know what that's doing for this kit. I mean, it it just doesn't look right to me. Uh, maybe to some people, it's like, oh my god, it's like the craziest thing ever. To me, it's not. It's not working. So I usually just keep these in. Um, I'm, I'm almost, you know, thinking about just taking them off completely, but I'm just going to leave the kit how it is. Um, I don't know, the wings do look pretty cool, however. Uh, I love the colors. The inside, eh, you know, it's kind of like empty and all that, but I mean, obviously, for closing purposes, you're going to have to keep the little space. Um, other than that, it's pretty cool. I, I do enjoy the wings. Um, I just wish they would have provided a little bit more uh, movement, you know, a little more articulation for the wings. Uh, they're going to be able to come out, but that's going to be for the, the transformation. But, I mean, if you do want to just pull them out to get some extra length, you can uh, do so. But other than that, it should be closed in. The decals, however, on the entire kit, not just the uh, the wings, look really great. Um, I love the, I don't know, the Gotoki style stuff always gets me. I mean... I started building, uh, well, I started doing the decals on the X2, the Crossman X2, and I just gave up. It was way too much. Um, you know, I'm glad these aren't water slides. I probably wouldn't put as many as I did on here. Um, I just went ahead and, I, all of them that the manual told me to do, I went ahead and did. Um, also, you're going to have some really good places for panel lining and all that, so that's always good, uh, you know, plus. And I love the, you know, the green little uh, piece, clear part right here with the reflective sticker. Um, it looks pretty cool, especially when some light hits it uh, in the right angle. It just looks like it's the LED inside, much like the Gundam Age kit, how that was. That was freaking awesome. So, um, other than that, guys, I mean, this kit is freaking awesome. And I recommend it to anyone who loves Wing, anyone who uh, loves Gundams in general. 
So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to watch the next video, which is going to be on the weapons and transformation. So that's it, guys, and I'll see y'all later.